get moving away from this property. This is government land. We're licensed to hunt here. You spoiled a perfect shot. Now keep spoiling your shot. Lest you get moving. It's the last time I'm going to warn you. Sounds like he means it. We better move. We'll move, all right. The sheriff's going to hear about this. Don't you worry now. Nobody's going to touch you. Not as long as Boone Sawyer is around. gonna be just fine. That's far enough. Just turn your tail around and get, mister. I'm the district ranger. I want to talk to you. I don't much care if you're the president. Nothing to talk about. Do you know this is federal land? Federal land belongs to the people. I'm people. Part of this forest is mine. Pretty dog. Yes, you are. Coat like silk. <laughs> Boone ain't got no dog of his own. Mister? If you trust my dog, how about giving me a chance? All I want's a little talk with you. <laughs> all right. All right, girl. But a little's about all you'll get. I ain't much on talk. I'm Corey Stewart. Boone Sawyer. You've already met Lassie. Lassie, hmm? Well, my digs is just through the glade there. No sense standing when we can set. You traipse all the way up here? Just because I run off a few hunters? Well, that and squatting on federal land. The sheriff's got a warrant to serve on you. Assault with a deadly weapon. Understand it isn't the first time either. I convinced them to hold off until I could talk to you. Well, I didn't mean to spook them fellas so much. But the animals hereabouts are my friends, my family. This is deer season. Those men had valid hunting licenses. Ranger, good Lord put all creatures here for a purpose, including you and me. I think he kind of intended we should get along. Shooting at people's kind of a strange way to get along. 
shooting to hit and shooting to miss. Two different things. About shooting to hit. Inside. You two look like you could use some cool drinking water. Come here, Lassie. Come on, dear. Boone, you say that the forest belongs to the people. And it's true. But if everyone literally took a piece of it, there wouldn't be much wilderness left, would there? I reckon not. But I live here. Thanks. Heard some law once about possession. I intend to stay. Pretty good arrangement. No rent, no taxes. Paid more than a bit in my day, Ranger. I took with stomping out campfires, them fool hunters leave smoldering, luring starving animals away from overgrazed areas. I figure I'm saving you fellas a dollar here and there. Hey, look at here. See that deer? I raised it from a fawn. Her folks got caught in that fire over on Smoke Ridge a while back. I had to bottle feed the little critter every six hours. Mr. Sawyer, I wish you could understand my position. Trouble with folks nowadays, they're making everything complicating. Man makes his own pace, lives his life the way he wants, ain't hurting nobody, and I'm happy. Any law against a man being happy on his own property? This isn't your property. We've been through that already. We're just talking in circles. Reckon we're done talking if it's come back to that. Well, maybe I can work something out. Oh, don't go to no trouble on my account. I ain't planning on leaving here, no ways. You'll be talking to this sheriff fella? Yes. He's got a job to do just like I have. You got a dog? No, I don't think so. Too bad. Why don't you come back and visit me, girl? Meet some of my friends. You too, Ranger. Anytime. Probably, Dan, but I like to be certain of my facts in these cases. There's nothing else on him here. The only thing we have are those assault complaints. Why all the concern? A man a friend of yours? Might work out that way. Look, Corey, he's just a squatter, plain and simple. I want to recheck the line status and get some more background on him before I make a move. I might be able to work this out the simple way. So it won't be uh, complicating. So what do you want me to do with these complaints? Try to hatch them? Nothing's impossible. Just give me today. <laughs> oh, Corey, I knew you had a soft heart, but I hadn't figured it'd gone to your head. All right, you've got the day. That's all. Thanks, Dan. I'll be in touch. <laughs> You might as well stay here, Lassie. All I'm going to do is check some files and have a serious talk with the forest supervisor.
to get acquainted. Ah, uh, don't worry. Blasty's a friend of mine. And nice of you to come visit me today, Lassie. Pleasure having your company. Little sapling's doing just fine. Here now, here, you just do your chewing someplace else. These little trees gotta have a chance to grow. Come on, Lassie. Just look at that, Lassie. And listen. Sights and sounds. The miracle of the wilderness. Created by God and molded by nature. Province of wild creatures. Been like that for thousands of years. Gotta keep it that way. Fellow wants to get close to the Almighty. Sure enough has a front row seat right here. Yeah, never mind. He just came in. Troubles, Jim? That old man of the mountain again. He just took a shot at another hunter. Well, that does it. Did you call Corey? Yeah, I tried to locate him. He left the forest supervisor 20 minutes ago. He hasn't got back to his station yet. Well, we're not waiting. Well, you promised him a day, didn't you? Yeah. As of right now, it's a short day. that gun ready. That old coot starts shooting at us. He's gonna see some shooting back. Someone, Sheriff? Sawyer? Sawyer! Sawyer? You're under arrest. You've got assault charges against you.
Sheriff! Sure took them long enough to get here, didn't it, Lassie? You fellas have a nice hike? Mighty pretty trails around here. All right, Sawyer. On your feet. Isn't that Corey Stewart's dog? Reckon it is. Corey here? No. Lassie, she comes up here to visit me on her own. Hey, girl. No sense in getting them stirred up more than they are already. Either you come peacefully or we'll use force. Fellas, mind if I say goodbye to my friend? Won't take more than a few minutes. Lassie can get them for me. All right, five minutes. But that's all. Go on, Lassie. Go find my little friends. Go on, girl. Bring them back here. Sawyer, time's up. On your feet. We're all through waiting, Corey. We're taking him in. Suppose I told you he was working for me. What? I talked to my supervisor about making this area an experimental research forest. He agreed the boon would be invaluable to us up here. All we need now is official sanction. Are you and your boss defending this man's actions? Not his actions, but Boone has a unique contact with nature and we intend to make use of it. Oh, the next thing you'll be saying is he can talk to the animals. Well, you know, it wouldn't surprise me at all. Sent Lassie out to find my friends so as I could say goodbye to him. Should have been here by now. Oh, Corey, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Would you believe it if you saw it? Sure, and I'd believe in Tinkerbell and Peter Pan if they came floating down out of the sky. <laughs> Girl. It's all right, little fellas. Oh, you ain't gonna shoot none of them, are you? No, no, Mr. Sawyer. You can come out now. Ain't nobody gonna hurt you. Ah. Ah. <laughs> well, Sheriff? I'm not sure I believe it. Does this change anything? Well, Corey, I suppose I could have a little talk with those hunters. Maybe I can convince them to drop their complaints. Thanks, Dan. Well, Boone, you can stay. But until this area is closed to hunters, what happens to the men who come up here and the animals? The sheriff's right. You know the forest and the laws of nature. If it weren't for legal hunting, some animals would overpopulate and starve. We have to keep the balance. Those hunters have their rights, too. Now, um, them hunters can't see them, they can't shoot them. Me and my friends have a pretty good warning system up here. 
The rest of deer season, me and my family will be mighty scarce. Boy, any law against that, Sheriff? No, no, none that I know of. <laughs> Thanks, Lassie. You and the ranger come on up anytime you want to. Oh, you too, Sheriff. Come on, Lassie.